DCR. Right. Um, you know, it was kind of like us watching Dukes of Hazard and Dallas back in the day. You had to be there. You're sitting right there. And so, uh, that's the best compliment you can give us. I mean, it's not like we're shucking responsibility to all that homes and businesses and things to make something Nick Mump was doing around the campfire and dressed up like Elvis and going to the local cafe and being deer tracker. Yeah. And so that's what we highlighted more. And so in reality, you're not even thinking about that <sighs> shot. Industry, and we're like, man, at first it was like, I remember I'd, I got a letter from NAP and they were going to send me some broadheads and a hat. Uh -huh. like, oh, God. Yeah, free? <laughs> exactly. this, this, this is free? And then he started getting a little money. Uh, and then kids exploding like, oh my God, I just had a chance to hang all week. And there's Larry Weissen talking about rattling and, you know, they'd be Jim Zombo and these legendary writers. And, uh, and Terry and so Well, like, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah, <laughs> I think, I, because I remember arguing that yeah. actually with, with Bill and some of the managers. I'm like, look, man, I know. I know yeah. the warehouse has got a landscaping business. <laughs> I'm still going to wear a real tree hat. And so it was, I was being rewarded with my work and, and having the comments and the people shaking my hands like, thank you. And, yeah. You know, watching your shows like being in our hunting camp. We do this up in PA or we do this down in southern Alabama. You know, I go out west and, and man, even the western hunters are like, dude, you guys are funny, man. We love it. We couldn't afford this or that. And so uh, I, I know I'm rambling and going a bunch of different directions, but Bone Factor to me was trying to figure out how to harness opportunity i was learning business and trying to figure out i understood the licensing business from realtree right and so that's what it was and that i realized that i couldn't do it um by myself and so that's where the nick munt and the t-bone turner came and then also where our i was also thanks to thermal regulation and cooling setting the pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. There's no better way to improve your day-to-day -day life than better sleep. And the easiest way to do that is with a sleep spot. Start the new year right and invest in the rest you deserve. Laugh, then we hug, and you're yeah. gonna have a line of people, and, and I'm just, just kind of sticking with mm -hmm. my personality and yeah. our relationship, and and so inevitably I, I, I did learn the same way, uh, Cameron, on competition, and and I, I'm still competitive, man, so highly competitive, but I'm also uh, now I, I I definitely have a lot of. Uh, I, the word ain't empathy, but but I want everybody to win. I mean, I, I do believe in the. You know, the <laughs> you can't believe you got this opportunity. Then you deal with the hate, and then you're like, man, this is how blessed I was. But that comes with maturity. No, no doubt, and, yeah. and and you don't lose that uh, competitive spirit. And like you say, I always talk about a fine line between say confidence and maybe arrogance or cockiness and and humility. But at the end of the day. It's, it's almost like a very confident humility. Um, I, you know, I, I think you and I both have possessed that. It's like, you know, we're, you know, we, we're like very thankful and blessed. Like, oh, well, where's the enemy in shape? But then you'll see the same type of yeah. vibe to where, wait a minute, this guy is sincere about this. <laughs> this ain't Cameron. This, this guy is, it, this guy's trying to be that. But it would be similar to me. Mm -hmm. just saying, wait a minute. I've always said goofy stuff and had fun in hunting camp and been laughing and cutting up, me and Cameron friends, but I think I need to, I'm going to be, I'm going to start taking a rock up a mountain like Cameron, you know, where, where if you look at our relationship, I love it, like I'll read, and if it ever comes up, you and I, I there was one guy, it was on a radio show or a podcast, something, something, I said, dude, I've heard comments that, man, Cameron Haynes could, I think back, because you just mentioned it, um, Chuck Adams, Miles Keller, yeah, um, Jim Shockey, even. I would do what they did. I wanted to be like them. I mean, Miles Keller would never try. He had an XI Legend bow. I got an XI bow. I think Mark Garcia was at XI at this time, and I was like trying to get a bow. Um, Jim Shockey had the bandana. Yeah, I got kills pictures up, old pictures here with the bandana because I Jim, Jim Shockey was the man. Um, so, I mean, I have emulated a lot of people too. And then